Just got the, the lake launched and set up. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and see if there's any fishies out here. I really don't know what to expect right now. Let's see if we can find any. Short of 17. 17. Nice little 17 on the chatterbait. Bye. Thank you guys for staying to the very end of the video uh, as a little little treat we'll go over the setups that i was using today number one chatterbait setup this is a 7.6 uh shimano zodius this is the glass rod uh paired up with a corrado dc this is the 150 xg which is a 8.5 gear ratio filled all the way with 12 pound fluoro and then we have a half ounce chatterbait with a, I believe that's called a streak Z. It's a Z-Man fluke. Um, yeah, I don't know. Whenever I use chatterbaits, I always use fluke style um, trailers. That's just what I do. Yeah, this, this got it done today. Um, real quick, just wanted to recap. Uh, I'll put the clip on the screen. Um, I think it's really important to remember that whenever you're using a chatterbait specifically, you do not want to use a rod that is too stiff. It's good to have a little bit of, uh, I guess, bend or parabolic action in the tip so that you don't pull the chatterbait away from fish um, 
too early basically um, yeah in the clip you can see that like right here the rod starts to bend before I even know that I got the fish and once I see the rod bend I give them a little bit of time to eat it and then I set the hook had I had had I been using a like let's say a heavy power rod or something that didn't have as much bend I think it's very likely that I would have lost that fish so that's just a little little tip for you uh, number two setup number two this is my finesse setup that I was using for the job shot what is it it is a Shimano Cepheid SS and this is a 8 foot 3 medium power spinning rod um, it's a squid rod that I bought from Korea and definitely not optimal for being in a kayak because it's 8 foot long but so far it's been a lot of fun to use like it's been really really fun um, extremely light strong and very very bendy um, whenever I'm finesse fishing anything that I throw that for finesse fishing the size of the hook like the the wire gauge or whatever like the thickness of the hook I'm always using like it's like needles dude so you don't need a lot of pressure to uh, set the hook so that's why I feel like at least for me like when I'm finesse fishing it's okay that I'm using such a bendy and light rod because you know the hooks basically just get set the moment the fish puts the hook in the mouth um, but it's good that the the rod is so parabolic and bendy um, because once that fish is hooked they just stay pinned like they can jump they can shake whatever I haven't lost a single fish so that's pretty cool uh, so that's the rod real Shimano Vanford this is a C 3000 HG um, so the frame of the body is a 2500 but the compact means that um, basically the, the the size is small but the real um, the the spool like the amount of line it's a 3000 so you get the advantage of higher line capacity and you also get the advantage of a smaller body and lighter weight so everything about this setup is extremely lightweight and you can I can use it in fresh or salt water so that's pretty cool um, the line on here the main line is some sort of I don't know some sort of eight strand braid I believe it's 0.8 PE I'll put a chart on the screen um, a really light line I believe it's eight strand because it's really thin diameter but really strong and then I have uh, I guess for the leader six pound fluoro and the connection knot always an FG knot that's just what I do um, so yeah that's the setup uh, the lure that I was using this little drop shot it's got a little tiny hook <sighs> six inch robo worm I don't know what color it is. It's like a blue and it's got a white belly. It's a pretty cool color. And then got a 1 8 ounce drop shot weight. But yeah, that's pretty much the setups. Um, I'm telling you, my fall pattern, I'm getting it dialed in. Uh, it's, I think it's only a matter of time before I start running into the, the really big fish. And that's going to be a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, short video today, just wanted to post a little update, um, and that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for staying to the very end. Hope you guys learned something. I'm trying to add tips and like um, just helpful information I feel like that people should know. A little chatterbait tips and my finesse setup, all that. So hopefully, hopefully you find it helpful. Um, but that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, if you like the video, make sure to like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later.